Hello guys and welcome back to Marsh Forever. Um, Eric and I are here starting our house shopping process. We are in one of the two communities that we have on our final list and we're going to see two models today to narrow down exactly which model we like the best. Mm -hmm. um, we really like this community because it's close to my parents. It's a pretty big neighborhood. It's well developed has a great HOA from we can tell yep, yep. Um, and so we're just here to figure out which model we like the best we really do like this builder um, and we officially decided that we're going to be doing a new build if I didn't say that already so we're going to be doing a new build mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's between two neighborhoods two neighborhoods narrowed down to two neighborhoods yep. so we're gonna go in today look at these models and by the end of the video you will see which one we like the best in this neighborhood i already know which one you like the best but okay, well, i ain't gonna spoil it <laughs> we'll see because i think i changed my mind actually <laughs> all right guys see all you right. in there It just seems cozy. Yeah, I like what they did with the space. Yeah, like I love that chandelier. So in our whatever home we choose, do you think we're gonna do a chandelier or we're gonna always have a ceiling fan, you think? Well, I think the chandelier looks nice, but you know I like it. Right, yeah, it's not like practical. Um, I like the space. I think it's the size of our closets now. It's just that uh, yeah, I was put together, which means there's no wall in the middle, which means we lose a storage of wall. And in this model, you can get a third bathroom up here, like for a private bathroom in a room, but the bathroom will cut into this closet, so the closet will be half the amount of space. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this closet, I don't like how you gotta walk through the bathroom to get it. Yeah, that's kind of different. I would have preferred for them to, to do like the closet first. first. This is at the bathroom, mm -hmm. and like the closet is like on each side, you know? Yeah. It's still different than just 
it's still unique, but you know. I like that. This is cool. That's different. I like that. All right, guys, so we just toured the house for like the fifth time. Yeah. Um, we love this house. We definitely love it. Um, but right now, we're going to take a few moments just to go over a few pros and cons yeah. about this house yeah. and what we think. Okay. What you think? I'm itching. Okay, so I think the biggest pro is the morning room. I love the vaulted ceiling. It just looks so grand. And I also love that this house has a first floor bedroom. Mm -hmm. That's essential to me because um, we have that now and I want the baby's playroom to be behind a closed door. Mm -hmm. um, where the dining room, the dining room or flex room is, like that will just be our office. Mm -hmm. But the first floor bedroom and the morning room are my biggest pros. Like I love those. Yeah. What about you? I think for me, I think one of the pros is, is just the open concept. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I mean, of course, they decorated and everything, but I love the open concept. Mm -hmm. um, I love it's just one more. The, the morning room. You like the morning room too? I like the morning room too. Yeah. I, I definitely love the it's morning like room. It's like brings in so much yeah. natural light. Yeah. And the windows are not just regular windows. Like, right. I love this arch in the window. Like, yeah. these line design. I don't know if that's an upgrade or like an interior thing, but the yeah. windows that they chose are just very pretty um yeah. it's like you said it's open the colors they use are beautiful yeah um and what's some cons i say some just two just two, two cons just two um well from what i see in the area in the neighborhood it doesn't look like i would get the backyard space that i'm yeah I'm, i love my backyard um even at the house that we we're at now i have a nice backyard mm -hmm. i love to grill i love to just sit back there when i had a chance and mm -hmm. i gotta have my space and i feel like the thing the thing with the new homes is like all house little yard right and that's just not my thing um one more i would say the master bedroom. Yeah, okay. Wow. I'm, I, I love the size. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be big and grand. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that the closet is after the bathroom. Yeah, that's, that's weird. It's just not, well, like, it's yeah. not weird. It's a little different. Yeah, it's different. Um, I think my two cons. Well, one is definitely the space because I got to tell Eric I love the house, but if it's not if it's not on his land, I can't love it. You know, yeah. so I just can't ever be one hundred percent in love with it. Yeah. But other than that, I would say. One con would be the fact that if we get the third bathroom upstairs, it will cut into our master. I don't mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Um, and I think one more con would be there seems like there's just a lack of storage in this house. Yeah, like cool. there are two like storage closets and an unfinished cl um, um, closet space, but it just doesn't feel like something that we wouldn't outgrow. Yeah. Like I feel like we would essentially outgrow that storage yeah. space soon and that gym room that that extra room where they had like the design stuff in there that would be our gym room and we would be downsizing yeah. tremendously so and, and i honestly feel like if we was to get this house in order to make the basement better mm -hmm. i would rather like not get it finished right because i i think like with as small as those storage rooms are mm -hmm. it's just a waste of space yeah and like, we would like yeah. to customize our basement separately from the builder so it doesn't matter which builder we go with yeah. we are going to probably get our we are going to get our basement customized 
like right before we move in um mm -hmm. so we can get it exactly how we want yeah. but we're going to go into the next house and do the same thing let you guys see and then discuss two pros two cons yeah, all right overall it's a beautiful home yes love, love it. it i yeah. felt this is the home that made me say okay boo i think we should move so <laughs> this home will always be like near and dear to me but now seeing other things after we've been shopping it's like hmm i could see us living here for sure but i don't know if it's like the like final dream home meaning we would never move again and I don't want to move again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go see uh, um, the next model and let you guys see it. I like the size of this and that's the thing like I, the one thing that even though downstairs seems smaller upstairs is maximized yeah. you know why no, I don't. because um we're not even in the pros and cons yet the reason why the upstairs in this house is bigger than the one next door even though next door is bigger on the first floor mm -hmm. is because they build on top of the garage in this one oh, whereas okay. the other one they don't build on top of the garage got you yep yeah All right, guys, house number two. Two pros, two cons. Two pros first. Two pros first. Yeah. When we go, you go. Yeah, go ahead. I say my two pros is the fact that I love that upstairs the space was more like maximized. Yeah. 
I feel like the bedrooms were bigger, mm -hmm. um, bigger closets. Yes, for sure. That's that's something that I loved about the house. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Overall, I one feel- One more pro, one more pro. Yeah, I'm about to say so. I feel like overall, even though this house isn't as spacious, mm -hmm. it's definitely, definitely livable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think it's livable because it had more stores like we saw. I put my mask on like, like you know. I was about to say, I don't have to okay? cool. I got my shot. Ooh. Okay, so for me, my two pros would be, I absolutely love that Jack and Jill. Like that is when there are two bedrooms that have a um, bathroom in the center and they have their own entries. I absolutely love that and that was my first time seeing it where they had separate sinks. Mm -hmm. You know, so they can like, they can like have, um, they have a door to their own sink too, whereas usually Jack and Jill, this double bandy is together. So I absolutely love that. And I love the archways in the house. I think it's a cool feature. It's something you're not gonna see in every house. And it's a small detail, but I just think it adds more grandness and more uniqueness to the space. Yeah. All right, so your two, con your two cons. Two cons. <coughs> I feel like the, not I feel, let me stop saying I feel. Say you feel. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm, I, I say like you say. Absolutely. Absolutely, I say I feel. <laughs> um, my first con is I don't like how this house isn't as open as the other one. Yes. There's like an office room. As soon as you come into the right, mm -hmm. um, then there's a dining room right mm -hmm. after that and yeah. we we really don't even use the dining room that we have now yeah. dining room, a dining room to us like in the yeah. other house is going to be like a flex room which we're going to yeah. use the office so it's going to be wasted space yeah okay what's well, second con um second con is the kitchen the kitchen is absolutely gorgeous with the way that they decorated yeah but and it's just it too. yeah and designed it the appliances yeah like top right. notch i just don't like the fact that it's not as big you know yeah. it's, it's like a a corner. u straight yeah. like what's what we're trying to get rid of now we have a u-shaped kitchen and we want like a straight kitchen that like extends and opens and i think in this model too is they don't have the morning room attached to it i don't know yeah. if the morning room isn't even an option but if it is um you can't like really see your in the space because it's yeah. not here yeah. um, but I think my two cons would be there is no mud room which I forgot to add it's one of my pros in the other house I have to have a mud room right now we have a first floor laundry that's always that's also our mud room and it's mm -hmm. it's going to be the death of me yeah. um, so no mud room is a big thing and I think um, in the basement we would have no space to do our gym room yeah it would be no space to do our gym room and that's a must for me and I'm sorry, one more con, there's no first floor bedroom. Yeah. And to me, again, it has to be a first floor bedroom or study mm -hmm. so that Chunk's playroom can be away from everything else and not take away from that openness. And yes, realistically, his playroom could be the first floor like office right there. And then my office could be the um, dining room. But it just, like he said, it just would knock the flow off to me. I don't want his playroom by the front of the house. Like by yeah. the front door, I don't want that. Yeah. Um, I'll say this, like the one thing I love about this builder mm -hmm. is the fact that, can we say the name of the builder? Um, I wouldn't say it. Okay, but the the one thing I love about this builder is mm -hmm. the windows. Oh yeah, I, I that picture That's, window. Yeah, that picture window, like that was different. Like My I, friend I Courtney came, or our friend Courtney came to this house and um, please follow her channel with it. More Life with Courtney. I'll yeah. put her right here. Ah. And um, she was saying they're called picture windows. So they, you can't open them, I think. And there's like no like lines in them. I don't know what those are called, but it's like one big open window in the master it was. And that is gorgeous. Like that is so pretty. It's like so clear. Mm -hmm. And we don't really open bedroom windows anyway because he has really bad allergies. So yeah. that would have been just nice to have. Mm -hmm. um, but out of the two, which one do you think you would pick if this was our final decision for this neighborhood, number one or number two? They already know the answer. What's the answer, y'all? Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments if you know the answer before we say the answer. We should have brought you up. I know. Are you ready to say it? You must say the number, not the name. Ready? Hold on, which one is which? <laughs> The, the first one, the first one we yeah. saw number one. Oh, okay. This is number two. <laughs> okay, so.
So the one we like the best is number one. <laughs> Number one, if we had to choose, we would choose number one. And that is our final decision for this neighborhood. We will show you guys the next neighborhood in a couple days we go. So we'll show you guys the next neighborhood in our top two models. And then we'll make our final decision. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to March Forever. And we'll see you guys next time. Please make sure that you like comment and subscribe Try. i never say that like so, comment <laughs> and subscribe like comment and subscribe and follow this um dream house journey with us like comment and subscribe bye guys <laughs> by your side the thick and the thin i'll cherish you right till the end that's all i need for you to believe in my family we march forever